stupid carcass. Uh, Karula and the cubs are not far from here at all. There we go. Look at them. They're excited. They're excited. They've smelt. I think they have might even have spotted the leopards. Hold on. See that tails are up. That's a sign of excitement in wild dogs. Now let's hope Shongile, Hosanna and Karula are quick to the trees. Look at them go. Look at them go. Where's Karula? I haven't seen her yet. There she goes. She's up the tree. Karuna's gone straight up the tree. Where are the cubs now? Oh, the cubs, I can hear trees. Oh, let's get in closer. Isn't this absolutely amazing? Now, Karuna's up the tree. I'm sure Shongi and Hasana are also. They're underneath the kill at the moment. They smelt that stomach content and they ran straight in here. Look at the one. Oh, he's trying to jump up. That's a little bit high for you, my friend. As much as I love dogs, that's a little bit out of their, their, their field of capabilities. <laughs> oh, that was a big one. Still quite a long way away from the kill. I'm just going to try and get us in a spot where we can see him jumping a bit better. How's that for him? Oh, now he's decided to stop jumping. Now, there we go. They're directly underneath Karula now. There's the queen. They found the stomach. That's just the stomach contents. Don't worry, it's neither of uh, the next progeny. I heard them climbing a tree. Have you seen any of the cubs, Vim? I think they would have skedaddled even further. I did hear them climbing trees. Gonna start jumping again. Now, Mandy would like to know is it true that wild dogs perform a playful ceremony to get the pack riled up before hunting? Well, it's a greeting ceremony, uh, and they do. It's not really to get them riled up. Now, they're an incredibly social animal, one of the most social animals out here. So it's to affirm uh, the... Oh, are yeah, we going to have a little jump? Oh, it's too high for you, my friend. All right, sorry. So they do do that, and it's, it's more to affirm the bonds between the different individuals. Andrew, Andrew. Andrew, those Makhloa are now in the same position as Karula. Karula and the Mampimpans have gone pezul. Copy, thanks. Uh, they're starting to get mobile back down towards Weaver's Nest now, the Makoa. So, Karula and the cubs safe up in the trees. There's one dog still thinking, maybe I can jump that high. 
Free meal, free meal, free meal. Winter Prism is asking, would a leopard eat a wild dog? Uh, not unless they were incredibly desperate. Sorry, one second. Aubrey, there's three mashoa at Kurula's Nyama now. Look at them, they're still running around here. What are they spotted? Well, he found a little snippet, a little bairn. The driveway in hand. See where those are going? Oh, oh, the cub, the cub! Oh, there goes the other cub. Oh, you silly cub. Why on earth would you come down the tree? That was Hosanna. They're after Shongile now. But she's got to a tree. Karula's chasing the dogs now. She's come down the tree to try to defend the cubs. But the cubs are safe. Karula nearly wasn't. Wow, what excitement. I have no idea why that leopard cub decided to come down the tree, but that's a valuable lesson. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez, that was close. Uh, Hos Hosanna with his fat belly nearly didn't make it up the tree. There he is. He's in the thicket there now. He's going to have a few knob thorns in him when he gets down. Shongile made her escape quite well. She was quite far away. Um, there she is. And the dogs are still trying to jump. There's one right below Karula here. Hey puppies, exciting day. Karula not impressed with wild dogs. Aubrey, Aubrey. Now I'll be on there for a bit. Thanks. Yeah, Aubrey, once Aubrey, uh, once uh, Mike gets in, and uh, you know. Do Don't worry, the cubs are safe. Yeah, no, Hosanna was very lucky there. He nearly yeah. became a wild dog snack. Aubrey, did you copy about the Mashoa at the Karula sighting? I affirm they're here now. They're lying underneath a Karula. Copy, no problem. Now let's just roll back a little bit. Beach Cub is wondering how long would they normally hang around for? Well, not normally very long. I think they thought they might get a free meal. And now it's an amazing thing is so as soon as Karula thought one of those cubs was in danger, she actually came down the tree. So there she is. Both cubs are in the tree. Although Sino looks like he's about to do something stupid again. It almost looks like he thought about coming down again. That was not a good idea, little boy. And there's a dog who noticed it. As soon as he started looking like he was coming down, this other the wild dog jogged up towards where his the tree he's in. There, there's the dog. 
I'm sure Hassan is not very comfortable in that knob thorn. But I guarantee young Hosanna it's more comfortable than being in the jaws of an African wild dog. Hosanna is just above him. There's another dog there. Now, Jeremy, who's 15 years old, would like to know, what is the biggest pack of wild dogs I've ever seen? Uh, probably about 36. It was Not probably, it was 36 wild dogs. That was in Botswana. Oh, look at that. He's jumping up to the tree Hosanna's in. Hosanna, go back up. Stop trying to come down. I know you've got a thorn in your bottom, but it's better than a tooth in your bottom. Oh, they are such beautiful animals, the African wild dog. The, the scientific name is Lycan pictus, the painted wolf. I just do love their variations. They're also probably one of the most exciting animals to watch. They're constantly up to something, and that's why I think I really like them. Also, absolutely fascinating social uh, structure, one of the most closely knit social structures of any animal out in the bush. I think they're probably going to leave Karula and the cubs quite soon. And there's no meal to be had anymore. There we go, there's one of the last dogs going past. The other two are already off to the left. Oh yeah, they're on the move again. That means we're on the move again. 